Welcome back, everyone. Keeping track of your finances can be hard to do, but it is so important. Exactly. That's why financial advisor Morgan Almer joins us this morning with some tips on creating a budget and maybe even more importantly, actually sticking to it, which I think sometimes are two different concepts. Right. Thanks for being here, Morgan. So mm -hmm. let's talk about one, creating a budget, and then number two, getting you and everyone involved to stick to it. Right. Um, that's usually the, the most important part, as you said, Chris, is the sticking to the budget. Um, right. Everything looks good on paper, but unless you actually do it, uh, that's all it is, is on paper. Yeah. Um, uh, the reason it's so important to create a budget, of course, is because you want to control your money instead of having your money control you. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, a typical budget, I think we have a graphic do, that shows yeah. what a typical budget looks like um, and how we prepare one at the village okay. uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Virtually every client I meet with, that's where we have to start. Whether your debt is to, or your goal is to pay off debt, mm -hmm. whether it's to save for retirement, um, no matter what your goal is, we have to know how much money is left to work with exactly at the end of the day. and as we work to get that graphic up you budget things for expenses for everything and yes. and, and you'll see um, on, on the budget that I have here that's the starting point is the income we need mm -hmm. to know what you're actually bringing home now on this budget I put up their gross income and to be honest I don't really care what gross income mm -hmm. is the only people that care about gross income are the tax people and the banker people. Mm -hmm. um, what we care about is actually the net income, what you actually bring home and I'm on a, a, every paycheck or on a monthly basis. And we start with that. So you can see I have different categories there for income. Um, and then we start with the expenses. Yeah. And we break our expenses into three different categories. And you can see the first category on the, on the left there is fixed expenses. Those are the easy ones. It mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. fails when I sit down with folks. They can list those off off the top of their head, one oh, after yeah. another after <laughs> another. Those are super simple because they never change from month to month. So yeah. um, uh, those are easy, and, and everybody can pretty much sit down and do those right now. But it's the variable expenses that we kind of get us, don't they? That's where we get into trouble. Um, it, it, it's very common for couples to have completely different ideas <laughs> um, as to where the dollars are going. Uh, starting right up at the top with grocery. Oh, um, yeah. It's funny, sometimes you'll see a, a, a couples and, and one will say, 50 bucks a month. And it's like, really? Well, <laughs> you can't even eat mac and cheese three meals a day. And, and I'm buying it, and it's more like 150 <laughs> right. each time we go. Right, yeah. right. So uh, those are very hard to know right off the top of your head. And, and so uh, the only way to get a handle on those type of expenses is to, uh, some people think it's a, it's a dirty word, but it's tracking. I know. Um, it takes a lot of effort and work, and that's why a lot of people don't like to do it. But it's the only way we can know for sure where the dollars are going every month. Um, some people say, I think I have a hole in the budget. Well, I can't tell where the hole is until we know exactly where every single dollar is going. Yes. So when I say tracking, you don't necessarily have to track the fixed expenses because we know what those are every single month. The variable ones need to be tracked. and. When I say track, I mean write down every single dollar you spend. Ay, ay, ay. Try it for a month. Um, it's two things. It's eye-opening, and it can be embarrassing. Um, because you get to the end of the month, and you can see, wow, I spent X amount of dollars on restaurants, or I spent X amount of dollars on entertainment. That's a lot of money. And but there's an easy way to do it, too. There right? is. Instead there of is. doing all that, taking those receipts, go to mint.com. Mint.com. Right? It's a free website out there, and I know for a fact that Mr. Berg uses this Love website. It. I'm going to start using um, it, I think. Yeah, it's, it's free. That's the, that's the beautiful part about it. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, mm -hmm. The reason people get concerned about it is uh, you get started for free, and about the fifth question in, it is asking for your bank account information. Now, don't be scared of that. This is just as secure as any banking website would be. Okay. Um, uh, and, and what it does uh, is it's tapping into your banking website so that when you swipe your card at, say, Hornbacher's, mm -hmm. swipe the card, it categorizes the expenses for you. So that any time throughout the month, you can pull up the, the app on your smartphone or you can go online and it'll tell you exactly how many dollars you have spent in each category as you more go. More on that right after the break. Stay with us. Morgan Ulmer's got more tips.